Come on. Get in bed, baby. I am not lazy. Pretty sure having a hard workout, a hot shower, lunch and a nap on a Sunday is like the pinnacle of modern civilization. Wait, what? You just checked. Oh man, now's the time, huh? Well, I'd say don't let me forget about it tonight, but I'm actually not all that worried I'm going to forget. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a private holiday. What do you want to call it? Ovulation elation? Conception Inception. Oh, so, like literally right now. Hmm. All right, come on, right here. Yeah, you do the unbuttoning part so I can focus on the groping part. That's not what you put on this morning, is it? Wait, did you go and change into a matching before you came in to tell me about this. That is so fucking adorable. That also makes me want to rule you even harder. So, uh, mission accomplished, I guess. Well, yes, that is a... This is actually going to be a pretty seamless transition between you in a dream and you in real life. In the dream, I was a stone statue with this huge stone. And you'd climbed up and were clinging on to me and yourself on it. It was frustrating as shit, but it did get me really. Why was it frustrating? Well, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't press your body closer against me and feel your pressed against my chest like this. Mm. Or squeeze like this. Oh. Or take your face in my hands and kiss you. Mm. Like this. Or again, and again, like this. I couldn't grab you and pull you down onto my. Which is really driving me crazy after a while. And I couldn't nibble on your neck where it meets your shoulder and tell you how exquisite you are either. I miss that a lot. Uh-huh, you bet I did. Just trying to climb right onto my... Uh-huh. Oh, no, you don't, baby. What do you think I am? Some kind of stud service. And there, I thought you loved me for my sparking intellect and... Up 